one. Hey guys, what's up? DMT Killer here. Today I'm going to start off a new series called um, How to Code for Noobs. Um, this is going to be mainly Java and maybe some other stuff, but um, it's going to start off with just Java. And um, first, you're going to need a couple things. Um, they're all free, of course. Um, you need to go to oracle.com and uh, you need to get the. I'll have all these links in the description. You need to get the JDK. Um, we're going to be using Java Standard Edition 7. And if you don't have it already, you need to get the JRE. Um, okay, so after you download those and then set those up, it's straightforward. Um, you need to get Eclipse. Um, how do you get that? You should just get download. And then you just. We're going to be using the. Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You just download it, you click which how what bit you have your computer is, um, and see you just have a download link right there. You click it. And by the way, guys, you need WinRAR or 7-zip or any um, .zip .rar unarchive um, program. That's what you need. That's about it. And then after you have those two downloaded, you just want to install them. And then when, if you guys have any problems with installing that, go to my website. There will be a link in the description, and you can email me from there. That's going to be the best way of contacting me if you have any problems with this. So after you get clips, after you get a clips. Um, you won't have this stuff right here. It'll, you'll just be on the startup screen, which I can't go to anymore. Right, can I? It'll, it'll look similar to this. It'll just be a bit different. You will have probably some stuff out here. Just can, you can just close that out. There'll be a button right there. And you want then what you want to do is you see that icon up there. It says new. Just want to click that new Java project. I um, already have one, so you just call it YouTube. I'm going to call it YouTube, or you can call it Tutorials, or whatever, because that's where we're going to have to keep all our stuff in, nice and organized. Then you want to expand it using the little arrow right there. You want to go into um, SRC, Default Packages, and then, well, you want to click on SRC. It'll be so sta saved in Default Packages, but you want to go into SRC. You want to press 5. You want to go here to the thing we went before to get the Java project you want to press class and then you just type in we're gonna call it program one I already have it I think yeah no I have tutorial one so we're just gonna call it program one it's gonna be just quick and easy you just always delete this guys the best practice is to type it from scratch so that's what we're gonna do so first with all Java pro um, programs you need to create a class so to do this you um, type in class and then what you named it up up here what you named it before I named mine program one so I call it program one and then you wanna open have an open bracket and then I'll close it automatically in this program for you otherwise you're just gonna have to close it yourself but another way of doing this is you can write public oh, public class and that that will work too. The there are there are differences but I'm not gonna go into that in this video. So if you need that just search it up somewhere else because I'm not gonna explain it. Um, next thing what you want to do is I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing here right now but um, what you want to write is public you want to write public static void main open parentheses strings open bracket close bracket space args you want to press space after that open another pair of brackets there you go and then we're ready to start a program so this is what you will need to start a program this is what we're going to be using for the first good number of programs so that you can get familiar with Java and um, the language. So for this, 
tutorial since half of it was really how to set it everything up we're just gonna do a simple hello world because everyone has done it it's the most overused program of all time and we're gonna do it so what you want to do is system dot out dot print line ln for line you wanna open parentheses close parentheses semicolon what that is saying is that you are telling the system to like print out a line that's what you're telling them to do and then you need the parentheses and then you always need a semicolon after statements this is called a statement so that's a statement this is not a statement and this is not a statement I will tell you when something's a statement and what's not a statement so you don't have to worry about knowing if you have to put that behind it which you don't because as you can tell there's an error see methods do not require semicolons as you can t see um, this method requires a body instead of semicolons this is a body oh, the bra brackets are bodies and methods don't need don't need semicolons but statements do so and these parentheses are referred to as param I'm going to refer to them as parameters so inside of your parameters you want to have two quotation marks and you just write inside of those you want to say you want to write hello world I spelled that wrong didn't I there we go hello world and that's it what that program is saying that you want to grab public class program one this method which I'm not going to explain and it's handling you to print out what's inside of the parameters oh, what's inside of the parameters and these quotation marks say make it text that's what I'm going to refer to it as now for this beginning tutorial if you know what it is already don't you just know so it doesn't really matter anyways so uh, this is what it's going to say and now we're going to press this um, green arrow it looks like a play button you press it you it says run um, save select the resource to save you, you can save it yeah you can and then it wouldn't it doesn't pop up for me but what it, you should get is a little box that says um, and run and something else you want to go to the don't go to the just try all of them and then the ones that actually the one where it will actually pop up in the console right here this is called the console that's the one you want so that's about it and as you can see it just prints out what is inside of the parameters which says hello world and it stops the program so that's all it does um, and see, now I'm going to show you that if you don't have the quotation marks what's going to happen is it's going to want to see I'm, I'm just going to change it up a bit so it's as you can tell um, first of all the syntax is um, is not right so first that's a mistake like you can't have the, you can't have this with proper syntax see there hello world is not a variable that has been defined but I will explain that in a future ver in a in a my next video what variables are and uh, that's what we're gonna do so if I try to run this um, errors and you do not, um, you do not want to launch with errors so we're just gonna add those quotation marks again oh, oh gosh where's my insert there we go guys if that ever happens to you like when you type and you start erasing letters press insert on your keyboard and that should fix it now let's just fix the program S system dot by the way, your system always has to have, be capitalized. I'm just going to rewrite it again, make sure it's right. The system always has to be capitalized. Um, and as you can see here, we only opened the, the quotation marks once you had to open it. Both sides, and then it will be correct. And then if I try to run it again, it just says hello world. So thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for um, future tutorials. Uh, my next one will be about variables and different primitive primitive data types and uh, yeah so thanks for watching hit the 
like a like button to make so I can see if you guys like it or not comment below and if you guys go to my website I can help you out so thanks for watching guys and uh, have a good day